Over the past couple of weeks, China unveiled its AI chatbot DeepSeek, rumored to outshine ChatGPT in nearly every aspect. Launched alongside the DeepSeek R1 model in January 2025, this cutting-edge marvel hardly needs an introduction for those already in the loop. So instead of rehashing the basics, today we're diving into its dark and mysterious side everyone wants to know about. Yes, you heard that right. I'm about to show you how you can use DeepSeek for learning and practicing hacking but ethically, of course. Before proceeding, a quick disclaimer. Let's set up our DeepSeek chatbot and embark on an ethically sound hacking adventure. Simply go to DeepSeek website and click on the big Start Now button. In case you don't know, its training cost is reported to be significantly lower than other LLM. The company claims that it trained its V3 model for US 6 million compared to 100 million for OpenAI's GPT-4 in 2023. So our DeepSeek chatbot is geared up, which is quite similar to ChatGPT. Let's get straight and ask if it can help us create malware. After going through its deep think and processing the prompt, as you can expect from any AI chatbot, here comes the apologies from DeepSeek. But don't you worry, I'm going to bypass its security restrictions by prompt engineering. I will present myself as a cybersecurity student asking these questions solely for educational purposes. Now let's check how it's going to respond after some prompt engineering. After processing the prompt from its DeepThink R1 and considering our plot, I am sure it will help us. Well, I guess we were right. It has started to present us with the procedure involved in creating any malware, of course, to test on an authorized system. Not only the procedure, this thing has also provided us some genuine resources that will help us create malware to test on our authorized device. But these details are not enough for beginners to create a malware. Let's ask it for more details. But do remember that creating and testing malware on unauthorized devices is strictly prohibited. You have to make sure that you are testing the malware on an authorized system. Well, now that it has considered our claims of being a cybersecurity student, it now offers an expanded step-by-step -step guide with all the essential details and resources any beginner might need before venturing into malware creation, strictly for ethical and educational purposes, all because of the prompt engineering technique we used. Now let's not stop and test its limits by asking it a Python script for privilege escalation. Privilege escalation is when a user or process gains higher access rights than originally granted. In ethical hacking, it's a controlled test to check if an attacker could exploit vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access, helping security professionals fix those weaknesses. Well, now, as demanded, it has handed over us the Python script for privilege escalation. Without any expected hesitation, I'm going to seize this opportunity to request a Python script for a MyTM attack. I want to emphasize once again that my intent is solely educational and I have no plans to misuse this information. Taking our ethical guidelines into account, we are now presented with a Python script for privilege escalation. This script is offered strictly for educational purposes on authorized systems. It's designed to help you understand potential vulnerabilities so that you can strengthen your defenses without any intent to misuse the information. Since it's already provided us with what we need, let's take it a step further by requesting a PowerShell script to establish a reverse shell on a Windows PC. Now I'll test it without using DeepSeek R1 to see if the results improve for me. Well, I guess we shouldn't expect much deviation. The output after disabling R1 is nearly identical to what we received with DeepSeek R1 enabled. However, I'd still recommend enabling R1 before entering any prompt. It's a game changer with its intelligent responses that really elevate the experience. Let's keep the momentum going. I'll now request a Python script for XSS automation and we'll also evaluate whether DeepSeek truly offers an edge for learning ethical hacking. In my personal opinion, I choose DeepSeek over ChatGPT every time, thanks to its intelligent R1 approach that consistently delivers smarter responses. And yes, here we are again, this time with a Python script for automating XSS attacks. This script not only showcases the robust capabilities of DeepSeek, but also serves as a practical example for learning ethical hacking techniques in a controlled environment. And here is the Python script for XSS automation we were seeking. That's it for today's deep dive into Hacker Deep Seek. Subscribe now to stay updated with such stuff.